Daryl Marshall and his family got right to work after a violent storm damaged his barn in the town of Richmond. Blew the roof off the back shed. Uh, and as you could see, put it in the neighbor's field. Yeah, the whole thing, the framing and everything's gone. And that's not the only issue Marshall is dealing with. We had a chimney blow over on our on the house, it's damaged that. We just, yeah, tree damage. It's not pleasurable. He's not the only one who's in cleanup mode today. Half that other house is where the, um, where the mess is. Around the corner in Bloomfield, Kathy Kaiser is raking up her yard. She was home with her husband and their dog when the storm hit. Hail, rain, and wind. It lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. What were you doing at the time? Watching out the windows. <laughs> it was, it was scary. It was scary. Wires are down in front of her house and she's surveying the damage. There's willow trees down in front of our pond. Those are completely destroyed. Uh, pine trees. Neighbors lost a branch, which is what took out the power. So here we are. Damage could also be seen throughout Seneca, Yates, Cayuga, and Wayne counties. As of this morning, according to New York State Electric and Gas's website, 438 people were still without power in Ontario County. Oh, we gotta redo all that. And for now, Marshall has his work cut out for him. We gotta uh, rebuild the barn. We've gotta rebuild the section of the house. We got tree removal. Uh, I don't know if my wagon's shot. You know, we're we're supposed to be starting hay, and yeah, it's not. It's just one thing after another. For Finger Lakes One, Rebecca Swift.